Hey, this is Courtney from Little Brand Box. Each week we're going to be trying something new, so keep watching if you want to learn with me. Hey guys, it's Caroline. This is the day in the life of a crop stylist. I want to know, how did you get into being a crop stylist? So I'm a wardrobe and a prop stylist, but today we're doing prop styling. So I started getting into all things fashion when I lived in Miami. I would do window displays for people, and then I met somebody who needed a little bit of help with their online site, and they said, hey, can you help me dress these mannequins? And then it went from dressing mannequins to dressing real models to finding crazy things from movie sets uh, for props and stuff. So it just keeps evolving. The more people you meet, the more you network, and the harder you work, the more jobs you get. Okay, tell me your top five tips for someone that's looking to have the Instagram game. Good lighting, finding something that makes you stand out from everyone else. I would say, use like a preset. Um, there's tons out there that you can find right now. I use the same preset on every single photo. That just helps you curate your page, make everything um, flow a little bit better. It makes your page just look more friendly and user friendly to go through as well. And then I would also say using really cool backgrounds can really elevate your page and make you stand out from somebody else. So using something simple like holographic paper or even just getting to the craft store and just finding something that has a punchy, nice background. So that would be tip number four. For tip number five, using something that elevates your page. Again, something like plants or textures or food or just giving your um, picture some more depth. Okay, so we're gonna start with a basic background. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take in a little element here some extra wood, warm up the space, maybe something over here as well. So now you've got three different types of textures in here. You can even put a little stone popping through to the side and you can just pop the little watch on there, add some lighting, maybe even add in a little bit of greenery and then you've got a really cool curated look right there. That's a really easy, no brainer, natural look. Now we're gonna go for like a poppy, punchy, fun vibe. So now we've got some simple craft paper. I'm gonna go with this really fun Lumo pink. We're gonna take some marshmallows, stack them up super high together, and then you can pop the little watch, nestle it in there in between all these little marshmallows. Good way to bring it back to basics is to really kind of crop in. I know it's so cheesy, but then you can really see your shot. And what I like to do is kind of create a little hole and I can find my little shot right there adding texture to your page, whether you use an element like wood or metallics, just something to really elevate and create depth in your picture, make it a little bit more interesting. You can use things like leaves and florals or um, even food things like marshmallows. Make it fun and interesting and always just try and create something new and better every time.